So how am I supposed to show y'all my hair if I never even uncovered it? Let me show y'all what my hair look like. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is So Fine. It's been a while since I've done a sit down video, so I decided let me do one. And I decided the one that I'm gonna do today is gonna be about how I get my locks to be so thick. Um, before we get into this video, I want you guys to like and subscribe. Um, if you guys have any comments about any of the products I use or what I do, um, specifically, and I should make a video to show you guys what I do, I can do that as well. So, without further ado, let's get into these tips. All right, so the first tip that I would say that um, really helped me in getting my locks to be so thick is the fact that I don't retwist really often. So on average, I go about every two months. Every two months I go, I retwist my hair. Um, so I retwisted my hair for New Year's. I'm not gonna retwist my hair until the 1st of March. You see what I make, uh, where I get it? So like about six to eight weeks. Um, and that's how long I do. I don't um, go past two months. And I don't go past, I mean, I don't go past two months, I don't go before two months. So I just really, two months is my mark, and that's pretty much it for me. All right, so tip number two, no tight hairstyles. I'm going to repeat, no tight hairstyles. Because when you have a whole bunch of, when you pull your hair back for a ponytail, there's tension. When you take two ends here and you try to combine them, there's tension. When uh, you do a two-strand twist and they're really tight at the root, there's tension. So you want to avoid as much tension as possible with your hair so that they are not thinning out and they're um, nice and thick and juicy. Um, so with not retwisting often and... Um, what was the second one? <laughs> no tight hairstyles. No tight hairstyles. Those are my first two. Because if you can get those two, if you can, you can forget everything else that I'm saying, but those two will definitely make sure that your hair is definitely going to be thicker as you go along in your journey. So, yeah. Oh, remember when I said if you only do the first two steps of no tight hairstyles and um, no frequent weed twists? I lied. Um, the third one's actually more, actually as well very important um it is also do not retwist really tightly so when i retwist you see i retwisted my hair about a week ago i don't know if you guys can see but there's still some space it's not as tight as i would like and that's fine because i don't really go for a really clean and sleek look with my like i don't even part my hair with a, a comb and i can also show you guys what i do how i um retwist my hair i have a video i'll insert that in the card for you guys to watch and click at afterwards but yeah like i retwisted my hair a week ago and it looks exactly the same because i didn't um make it extra tight my lines are not straight um i literally freehand with my fingers how i part my hair so my hair grows into my locks so i just make sure i just gather whatever bunch of hair that's between that lock and just twist it all together. So that's all I really do. It's really simple. But like I was saying, do not make it really tight because the tighter the root is, the, the thinner it gets. And like, this is heavy. Over time, your locks get longer. And it will just weigh it down and it could break. So we want to avoid as much breakage as possible for our hair to be flourishing and glowing and as long as possible. Like, I, I know y'all see the length. I'm going to make a compilation for you guys so you guys can see all my hair throughout the past two years uh, i'll give you a full look later on at the end of the video but yeah that's my third step those three um frequent retwists no tight hairstyles and no tight hair no tight hairstyles frequent retwists and no tight retwists i just confused myself i'll just write them all out at the end All right, so step number four is to use silk and sand scarves to tie your head at night. So um, before I go to bed, I have just a black, black scarf. Literally, just take it, 
tied around my head and I have another bonnet for my ends. So I have this for my roots to keep them nice and flat and I have my bonnet for my ends and that is to keep my hair away from my pillow because my pillow is not a sand, um, sand pillow, it's not a silk pillow, so it will dry out my hair. And this is just to prevent, just to keep all your natural juices, all your oils in your hair, because if it comes out, it's more likely for breakage, it's more likely for thinning, um, it's, just a, it's just a recipe for disaster. So if you can protect your hair as much as possible, like when I'm not out, and I'm not, um, if I'm not, in, if I'm not home, that's the only time my hair is going to be unwrapped or like right now I'm making a video. But other than that, my hair is always in my scarf and that's pretty much it. Always in my scarf. It's not being outside and being, it's not being exposed. It's staying in my scarf until I decide, okay, I'm going out. Then I can, even sometimes I go out with my scarf. So that's not even hundred percent true. So there's that. Just keep your handy dandy satin or silk scarf all always with you because it'll save you. Keep your hair nice and moisturized. And just contain everything that you have in your hair because I live in New York one, so it's cold and cold weather dries out your hair really quickly and it's just preventative care. That's it. All right. So the last step is coming up. All right. So the last step I would recommend is to throw away all your unnatural products because as I previously mentioned, I have a video about my retwist, my updated retwist regimen. And um, I literally only use three things in my hair. Water, vitamin E oil, and castor oil. And specifically, I use Haitian castor oil because that's where I get it from. But other than that, that's the only thing I use in my hair. I don't use any gels. I don't use any mousses. I don't use any wax. None of that. Because I like the fact that my hair can look nice and put together. And I don't like the fact that when you use all these products in your hair, there's buildup your ends look white and has a whole bunch of um, product and stuff. It's already bad enough that our hair attracts everything. Lint, um, hair, like it, our hair is a magnet for everything. So the fact that you have already so much things wanting to be attracted to your hair and then you have products that makes it easier for things to get stuck in your hair, I'm not with that. I'm not with that at all. So I would advise throwing away any unnatural products like the waxes the mousses the the gels like i mean i'm not gonna lie sometimes i mean i some people some people use wax on their um, that's a wax gel for the edges i don't even do that i don't i don't i don't do baby hair i don't i don't do any of that like that's really i don't really do that but it's, if that's if that's what you want to do if that's your preference you can but for actually putting it in your actual locks for while you're doing a retwist i would advise against that so that's my that's my last tidbit. All right, so let's go through the steps. Like I said, do not retwist often was number one. No tight hairstyles were number two. Um, number three was do not do your retwist really quick, um, really tightly. Um, number four, the satin or silk silk scarf. And number five, any unnatural products needs to be thrown in the basura, in the trash. Okay. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna show you guys what my hair look like. Um, I have done my hair, I, I started locking October 2019, and we are now in January 2022. So this is what my hair looks like. So I'm just over two, two years. This is what the back looks like. As I said, I do not part with a comb, I use my hands. This is what it looks like. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like. Um, I can do an updated video on telling you guys what I do, like my, I already have a video on my retwist, um, moisturizing, I do have an, I still moisturize and um, oil my scalp the same way. If you guys want a different video, I can do that, but it's, I can also insert that at the end of the video for you guys to watch. But um, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stick to, um, 
thank you thank you so much for watching i want you guys to like subscribe you can also comment give me some questions let me guys let me guys know how long you've been locked um what do you do if there's any um specific thing that you actually want me to tell you or have any specific questions about locks that i can help you guys with i'm not a professional but i think i'm doing okay so let me know all right see you guys in my next one